Best 10 Romantic Korean Movies Part 2 Postman to Heaven is a romance fantasy involving a special man and a love-lorn woman. Jae-joon is a mailman, but not your typical mailman. He delivers letters to heaven from people who miss their loved ones. Hana is one of those persons, she can't stop thinking about her deceased lover. Then a 14-day fantasy occurs between Jae-joon and Hana. Two girls confused between love and friendship leave their mutual friend Ji-hwan unexpectedly. Years later, Ji-hwan departs on a long journey to find his old friends as he confronts a beautiful yet sad secret. In 2014, a radio DJ gets a letter from his first love that brings up almost forgotten memories of the past. 23 years ago in 1991, five friends spend the summer together. One of them, shy and innocent Biem Sil falls in love with Suo Kei. Biem Sil has a noticeable crush on Suo Kei and waits by the girl's window during the summer. Suo Kei suffers from a leg injury that renders her unable to walk properly so she is always carried by Biem Sil. The love blossoms and how he always sees her as the girl he had want to marry, 5. Hannah is an overweight phone sex employee and a secret vocalist for Amy, a famous lion seal pop singer who actually lip syncs as she cannot sing. Instead of being famous for her own amazing vocal talent, Hannah hides behind Amy's performance stage and sings during Amy's concerts, and records all of Amy's songs. Yuri becomes the inspiration for street magician Jogu's horror magic show and it becomes a huge success. Yuri begins to work with Jogu but the darkness inside her keeps her from connecting with anyone else. Jogu invites her to a team dinner but it turns into a disaster when she gets blindingly drunk. The next morning Jogu hears a weird noise when he calls Yuri. Soo-young has been with her boyfriend for 10 years, but their romance is now nothing but a lukewarm relationship. The night before her business trip to Busan, Soo-young heard that her friend is getting married to her first love, and feels distracted. On the train to Busan, she sits next to Jae-hyun, who's claiming himself as an Agapmanite, an obscure Christian sect where men took many spiritual brides, and that he will willingly jump into bed with a woman for one night. Falling for her gorgeous hips, he keeps coming on to her during the journey. She tries to push him away, but ends up sharing a car ride to Busan with him due to the sudden breakdown of the train. She begins to slowly open up to him as he consistently tries to win her heart. And as the time passes on the road, she gets to see the true inside of Jae Hyun, hidden behind his featheriness and finds herself attracted to him. Jae Kyung is a high school senior, who skips school often. Once he turns 19 years old, he is going to be a millionaire. However, the day before he is set to inherit his fortune, their family lawyer informs Jae Kyung about the will from his deceased grandfather. His grandfather specified that Jake Young can only inherit his fortune if he graduates from Borham High School, which is located in the countryside. He has no choice but to transfer there. Life changes a lot for him at Borham High School. He can't use his credit card or drive his sports car. Meanwhile, Jake Young meets Eun Hwan. She's different from the other people living there and seems to harbor some kind of secret. Jake Young's attitude begins to change and Eun Hwan is about to reveal her secret. Bo Eun is an ordinary high school girl who worries about SATs and has a crush on her school's baseball team ace, named Yung Woo. One day, Bo Eun's grandfather orders her to marry Sang Min. When they were very young, Bo Eun's and Sang Min's grandfathers had promised that they would become in-laws. Despite their opposition, they are forced to marry because of the strong influence of Bo Eun's grandfather. Bo Eun's undercover married life begins, she pretends that she doesn't have a husband and starts dating Yung Woo. Bo Eun believes that she can manage both men and live a double life. Everything goes smoothly until Sang Min visits Bo Eun's school as a student teacher. Teacher Myung Woo when she mistakes him for a snatcher. After a not so good first encounter and a few more coincidences they start to grow fond of each other. Although Kyung Jin is one tough girl, Myung Woo is always worried about her because of her recklessness. One day, when Myung Woo tries to help Kyung Jin during her risky pursuit on a criminal, an accident happens and Myung Woo cannot be with Kyung Jin anymore. After the accident, Kyung Jin feels empty and lonely so she throws herself into perilous situations. However, whenever she falls in danger she feels that a strange but familiar sense in the wind is helping her out. A woman moving out of her beautiful seaside home named Il Mare. She leaves a letter in the mailbox, but somehow it is delivered back in time to Sang Hyun, the previous owner of the house. Upon receiving the letter, Sang Hyun, a gifted young architect, 
refuses to believe that the writer lives two years in the future. Nonetheless the two take up a written correspondence. The woman asks Sang Hyun to recover a tape recorder which she lost in the subway station two years hence. As he arrives at the station, he sees a beautiful woman boarding the train, accidentally leaving her tape recorder behind.